In this video, I'm going to show you a better, quicker, and more profitable way to sell your LearnDash courses. So here's a sales page, a registration page that I created for a LearnDash course. So if we click Enroll Now, what's going to happen is it's going to take us to our registration page. So as you can see here, the cost is free. And then we have a first name, last name, email address, and a spot for them to create their account, which would integrate directly with LearnDash. So before I do this, let me just quickly show you. Here we are inside of the WordPress admin area. So we have LearnDash installed, and then we also have another plugin that we're going to utilize called the Upsell plugin. So let me first show you inside of LearnDash, the courses. So I have a few courses created. Um, I have a free course, free course bonus, or a bump downsell, upsell, main course. Now if I go into our upsell products, here's our free course. So let me go into that free course. And on the general tab, if you set it to zero, it's going to show up free. And then what else we're going to need to do is on the integrations tab, we're going to enable LearnDash and say which courses should they be added to when they purchase this product. So we're gonna say the free course and the free course bonus because I wanna show you that you can actually add them to as many courses as you want when they purchase a product. So you can have one, you can have two, you can have as many as you want. But for now I'm gonna add them to the free course and the free course bonus. I'm gonna go ahead and hit update. So now let me bring back over the registration page. I'm gonna quickly fill this out. So now they're going to have to be prompted with creating a username and password because we want them to sign up for the course. We need them to create an account on our website. If they already have an account with the email address that they're putting in, they have the ability to check off I already have an account and the course would be added to the email address that they entered in up here. So we don't have an account yet. I'm going to click sign me up and two things will happen one is using that upsell plugin we redirect them to a upsell page to try to convert them into an actual paying customer and let me also show you if we go into the users you will see that there is now the course user and on this side underneath the course column you will see that they have been added to the free course bonus and the free course, exactly the courses that we chose inside of our product. If we go back now to the registration flow, the sales funnel, we have, as I said, we took them to a page now where we're actually trying to convert them into a paying customer. So here I have a quick upsell for a course, a product that is $199. They can either click yes to add that to their order or they can say no thank you to pass on that. I'm gonna go ahead and hit no thank you and in our funnel, in our flow, we actually, I have them going to a downsell now where they have the ability to sign up for another course, which is $49. So let's say they, they have the choice to say yes or they have the choice to say no. Let's say they say yes. When they click on yes, it now takes them back to, the, to a new sales page. So it captures, based off of their, what they registered with before, it's gonna capture their name, their last name, their email address, and then it's going to already capture their account info because as you can actually see up here based off of this it says howdy course user they're already logged in so they don't need to create an account again so now we have the other fields we have some address city state zip code country um, if you don't want to add these if you just want to stick with first name last name email address or any other fields you actually have the ability to adjust these or hide these let me show you real quick so we're right now we're on the product downsell. If I go back into our upsell product, so we want to go to downsell. And on this checkout settings tab, you have the ability to change all the colors, the buttons, everything like that. And then down here, the checkout field. So let's say you don't want the address, let's hide the address. We don't want the city, we don't want the state. 
We don't want the zip code. We don't want the country. Go ahead and update that. Let me refresh this real quick. There you go, now they're all gone. So again, we just want their first name, last name, and the email address. But this time, we have a cost of $49, so they actually have to pay to register for this course. And I, let me show you again, sorry, let me go back real quick, integrations. As you can see, we have it enabled, so when they purchase this specific product, the downsell, they're gonna be added to the downsell course. So they have two choices, one, pay with a credit card, or they can pay with PayPal. And you can set this up inside of the upsell plugin if you just wanna accept credit cards through Stripe you can just display credit cards if you just want to accept PayPal you have the ability to just accept PayPal but here we have the option for both we're giving the the user the option to choose a credit card or to pay with PayPal let me throw in my test card I'm gonna hit submit payment And now it takes them to, that's the end of our sales funnel. You can have as many upsells and downsells as you want, but that ends it for us. And on this page, it shows us our order summary using a short code that the upsell plugin provides. And here I have a short code that LearnDash provides, which is showing you some different information about the courses that they're a part of. And as you can see here now, they're added to the downsell course because we said when you purchase the downsell, add them to the downsell course. And if we go to the users, here you see free course, free free bonus course, and free course. Let me just refresh it real quick. And now you see that they're added to the downsell course. So all the pages that you saw can be completely customized by you. It's using whatever page builder or theme, whatever you're using, you're simply going to be placing in some short codes and setting up the, the URLs that you're going to redirect them to. So the couple other real quick tips. So when you're creating your courses, you're gonna to wanna to set them to closed so not everybody is added to them. So for example, here's our um, downsell course that I showed you in the example. You're gonna to wanna to go to settings and just make sure that the, it is, the access mode is set to closed. You can give it a price if you want. And the button URL would be nice because on the course, because on the grid, you can set the button URL to be the actual sales page of your funnel. So real quick inside of the upsell plugin, how you would create your products. It's really simple. I'll walk you through it. So inside of the upsell plugin, we're going to click add new on the products page. So you're just going to give your product a new name. So let's call it upsell or let's call it downsell course. You're going to give it a price where you can set it as zero dollars if you want it to be free but we're going to give it a price payment type single or subscription if you choose subscription you have the opportunity to charge them on a daily weekly monthly or yearly basis how often should the customer be charged for now we're going to keep it as single and then is it a physical or digital if you choose digital you have the digital tab that opens up and you have the ability to add some files that they can download after they successfully check out now we have our URL options. So this is going to be the purchase URL that you use to send them to the checkout page. A skip purchase URL that you would use if they choose to skip this purchase. The purchase redirect URL. Insert the URL where the customer should go after they purchase this product. And the skip purchase redirect URL. Insert the URL where the customer should go if they skip this product. So when they buy it, where should they go? Should they go to an order summary page, a thank you page, or should we send them to another upsell or downsell? And the same thing with the skip purchase. When they skip it, where should they be sent? Should they be sent to a another another downsell? Should they be sent to the thank you page? You have the opportunity to set it wherever you want. You have the opportunity to add an order bump if you'd like. As you saw before, the checkout settings, you have the ability to change the names and you have the ability to hide whatever fields that you want. And then the integrations tab, integrate it with Learn Dash, enable what course should they be subscribed to when they purchase this product. If you want them to be subscribed to multiple courses, you can. If we go back to the URL options, we now have our purchase URL, which we can copy. And you would place that on any sales page that you want. If you want them to purchase, to go ahead and potentially purchase this product directly. And then also, as I mentioned a few minutes ago, 
that purchase URL you can throw in right here in that button URL and on the course grid if they click the button URL they would go directly to the checkout page or of course you can set it to a sales page if you had it but if you they can be sent directly to the checkout page to purchase the course and automatically be added to the learn dash course so hopefully you see how easy and useful that can be how it can actually help you generate more sales more revenue through your website by taking your website visitors from a free or even a paid course through a sales funnel to try to get them to purchase more products and courses from you. And if you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks.